What is going on guys? Uh, welcome back. We are on the final boss battle on the alt account. I'm going to show you what my team comp was at 10.4k to beat this 30k boss and get this entire flatline hero challenge complete. Now first let's talk about the team comp and possible alternate options if you don't have these particular four. Now Nightwing I think is a must it's a necessity if you have a lower level account and don't have the necessary power to get through this you're gonna need nightwing and just like i said before anytime they allow you to have nightwing on the hero challenges i usually can get through them on the low level account we got ice Kemo and Desaad. Now, all three of those are really good for this challenge. The only other tune that I'd probably recommend is Cyclone. Cyclone and Ice almost do the same thing. You need a basic that can apply speed downs. I just chose to use Ice instead of Cyclone because she has the possibility of a stun. So as long as you have Nightwing and three of the other four options, maybe at least two out of the four options, I think you're going to be able to get this done regardless of your power this is only 10.4k so a pretty low level team and they are was about 30,000 in power now when you talk about the actual strategy for me using ice one thing and just like if you were to have cyclone i guess cyclones special you could probably use that to apply speed downs or maybe that's our ultimate that applies speed downs to everybody, but I only ever used Ice's basic. I didn't use, I didn't really use her two. Maybe every once in a while I used her two, and then I never used her three because I want to try to slow down the team as much as possible. Kemo is kind of the same way in that aspect. He has turn meter rewind and he does apply slows to the entire team. He also has the ability to apply bleeds, which when you have a low level account, those sort of things help you get through the challenges so much faster. And then of course we got Nightwing. He is crucial, especially on low levels because he applies awarenesses. Now these awarenesses are going to stack up once you start getting enough slows on the enemy team, rewinding turn meter and stuff and the stuns. And so you can stack up all those awarenesses so when the next wave comes, just in case you get hit, you won't get killed. Because if they hit you, it's one shot with low level accounts and you instantly die. Desaad, he is in the sole purpose of just applying buff immunity and for his stun. Like I said, I used Ice because she has a chance. It says 50% in order on her basic, but I can tell you I went through this entire thing using ice, only using her basic, and it's it's 100% coded wrong in here. It is definitely not 50%, and every single one of these challenges, I didn't even come close to 50% adding them all up. I think on this very last one, I counted 13 out of, I want to say 45 attacks is what it was. And that was one of the better times that I've had. So it's been hovering around 25% with a pretty large sample size, hundreds and hundreds of attacks, and it still sits around 25%. So I think it's either glitched or it's just coded wrong. It is definitely not 50%. Either way, you don't really need the stun. Uh, it's not as crucial as the slows are. And you'll see that when we get to the next wave, applying the slows every single time on the boss, that is going to be kind of your way to be able to get through it. Because if you let her go... She is going to put on so much bleed damage that uh, you will certainly die out really quick. She will buff up with those stamina ups and it's going to be even harder to kill. You got to make sure that she does not take a turn and that you can stun her and apply buff immunity from Desaad. Okay, let's start it off with the second wave, kind of give you the idea and hopefully show you what I'm talking about when I do this. Um, you have to control... You have to control flatline. Like I said, you cannot let her take a turn. So you're going to constantly want to use the sod. You're constantly going to want to use the stun. You're going to need some buff immunity because even if she's stunned and she takes a turn, she's going to apply those stamina ups and you don't want that to happen. So every single time ice goes, 
you're going to want ice to attack flatline to constantly put on those uh, speed downs. And then when Chemo comes, if you can rewind some of that turn meter, the more speed down she has and the more turn meter rewind you get. And as long as the sod has applied that buff immunity, by the time she does go, it's going to be well into the fight. The sod's uh, third ability will come around again and you'll be able to put on another buff immunity. I think with this... With the final boss battle, I think she went one full time. I think she finally got to around to going once. But uh, like with Nightwing, like look how many awarenesses the entire team has at this point. So the so the issue definitely is not about getting hit because with Nightwing you do apply or you do get so many awarenesses that you're able to sustain everything. The problem is, though, is that with Flatline, if she applies her third ability and she can get those bleeds on the team, uh, you drain out super quick because she does have the legendary point where she doubles the bleeds and she constantly doubles them over and over and over again. And so you'll end up with you'll end up with eight, 12, 16 bleeds in like two turns and you'll just pretty much bleed out regardless of what you have or not but as you can see you know at this point she has so many stuns the rest of the team has so many slows she has so many slows she has the buff immunity and everything on there um it's pretty much gg it just takes a little bit of time obviously with low level accounts being able to get through it and uh like i said chemo is absolutely crucial i love him in all of these hero challenges he's very similar to nightwing in the sense that if i have nightwing and chemo i can almost get through anything because i could kind of piece together the other other pieces with what's available chemo is so crucial on low levels with the bleed damage that he's able to do with the turn meter rewind and the speed and he's certainly a farmable tune. You know, you can farm him in a uh, campaign. And so mine, I think, is only L1. So you don't even really need anything crazy or overpowered or anything. But they're pretty much done at this point. I mean, none of them have any life because of all of the bleeds and all of the slows and everything that they have. So, uh, yeah, that's how you complete the very last challenge for flight for flatline. In case you have a low level account, as long as you have Nightwing, you have Ice, some other slow characters, some some characters that can put on slow on the basic. Cyclone would be a good choice if you just have her. Decide is probably crucial because you got to have somebody that can apply buff immunity. I don't want to say you can't get through it as long as you can keep her stunned. If you can keep her stunned... And she doesn't take a turn, even if she does go and you don't have buff immunity, she will apply some stamina ups to herself. It'll just take you longer, but the stuns certainly make it easier. Anyways, that's going to do it for the video. I just wanted to show this to you in case you are still struggling with these challenges. You have four of these five tunes. And like I said, as long as you have Nightwing and some of these other tunes, I think you'll be good to be able to get through it if you level them up and um, give it a shot. It'll at least help you get further than you might have gotten before. Either way, hopefully everybody's having a good weekend or had a good weekend. Y'all take it easy. We're out. Peace.